Hi everyone, I'm so glad to see you back. Today I will guide you through the bonnet installation process using paint protection fill. If you follow us on YouTube, probably you already know that this car was detailed, polished uh, a few days ago. This is why I will skip first step. First step will be like clay barring and uh, cleaning all contaminants from the paint. But second step, step will be the greasing the surface, yeah? Let's use surface cleaner for that. I will use this every dance on surface cleaner to degrease surface. This car is not new, it's more than <laughs> it's two years old. Um, we have many many stone chips and small damages but you know not much we can do we want to protect it in the from the future damages um, oh, one good tip if car have a badge you can leave it on the car or you can remove it but first you need to discuss with the customer if he allows you to take it off this car belongs to my dad and I will remove it. I will show you how I do that as well. Let's remove the badge and after we will continue cleaning this panel. Uh, to remove the badge I will use heat gun. We are doing that because I want to soften the double side tape. And now I will use fishing line to remove it. It helps as well. Ta-da! Badge is off, but we still have a lot of double side tape on the car. Before you will apply paint protection film, you must to remove this double side tape because after it will affect your installation process and some particles of this double side tape will stick under the film and yeah, it's gonna be a nightmare to clean it. So badge is off and now let's continue cleaning this bonnet. It is very important to clean around the edge because we're wrapping around every single edge. We're not cutting on the edge. We need to cut material, but before that we need to measure, we need no size of the bonnet. Uh, Vlad is helping me today. 1.8, we have 1.8 meters. 
And just in case I will add extra 10 meters on each side, it means we will cut 2 meters. On the length, it will be 1.5. Yep. Okay, we need 2 meters of material for this bonnet. For this job, we are using GSWF pin protection film. Okay, we need 2 meters of material. For installation, we will need slip solution, tack solution, and just in case, I have steamer. So, let's start installation. I almost forgot to show you this tool. Uh, I will use it to wipe uh, water from the pan. Because now my I'm spraying the slip solution only for kind of final touch. And if you know paper protection film is very static, you want to spray water all around the car. On the floor as well. Don't forget tires. We have a lot of floating dust everywhere. I'm using this tool like last touch for like last inspection just to make sure there's no single dust on the bonnet. Okay, now let's spray slip solution again. Okay, Vlas, now I will need you oh, just to help me unrolling it. I know. This side? Yeah. One tip for you before you peel the backing paper, just spray water on your backing paper. <laughs> Uh, now I will peel back the paper. I will pass the glass and just hold like that. I will spray the water straight away and the glass will, will continue peeling the back of the paper. Just install it through here, but just no rush, no rush. Mm -hmm. Go like this, 45. No, no, go like that. You will be in the trouble after you will. Okay. Now for 
from the top. Forty five degrees here. Yeah. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, take to your side, right? Take push it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now stay like that with two hands. Let's put on the board. Okay, now let's put on this side, have enough on the front. Beautiful. Let's spray slip solution on top. Probably uh, would be good to have a bit more so. But now I will need to cut this uh, access film. Be sure that film is still floating on that surface. Mm -hmm. Where's my tack solution? Now I will tack on one side. a bit tension. I want to attack PPF on other panel, not on the bonnet. Much film here. Okay, let's do the same on the other side. Ooh, I need a bit more show. I need to stretch this film forward to see if we have too much material. I need to stretch it. I hit a cave glue more than that.
get in there slowly. This side is fine. Let's let's stretch this corner. First, let's tack. solution just to remove soap. Let's grab our steamer. Be not enough for soap, I can lift and spread it more so. This is my second time using GSWF Platinum Paint Protection Film. This is why I, I'm struggling with it. Because different TPF requires different slip and different tack solution. But so far, looks everything okay. side is done. Let's do other side. Looks like this PPF uh, likes steamer, likes heat. Let's spray this little bit on the top. Okay, let's start squeezing from the See, we have these dry spots. We need more water under it. Thank you. 
Okay. Let's start again. Still have a dry spot there. What is really cool, even I lifting it, I'm not getting any any marks, any stretch marks, any glue lines. I'm really surprised that even lifting a few times spraying soap under the film because I left a, a bit dry spots. I, I I can't see any you know glue lines, imperfections. Everything like lays down very very nicely. Because for me this is kind of like second time using this film and I feel like a newbie. <laughs> Let's finish this part. So it's already too, too dry. we got again dry spot because from early beginning was big mistake I didn't use enough soap I needed more soap for this panel Tax 
书生。Use steamer. Now we'll go over entire panel one more time and spray a bit of slip solution. Just, just a bit. <laughs> uh, now we're just double checking if I haven't left any any water under the film. Yeah, okay, straight away I found one bubble. You can push it out. Because it's fresh insulation, you still have a time just to push bubble from under the film. If you will leave it to dry for, a, I don't know, 20 minutes, half an hour, you will not be able to do that. This is why I'm doing this inspection, just checking for the bubbles. Side looks beautiful. Bubbles. Now let's wipe the water from the pan for final inspection. So we wrap edge to edge, entire panel is covered, and now it's the time to trim the film. I will leave. I already know that I need 10 millimeters to wrap around the edge. This is why I'm leaving approximately 10 mil. This PPF is very stiff. It's not easy to cut it.
is very important if you need to cut on the panel don't use any pressure you just need to guide the blade and when you're off the panel you need to cut it through then you can score the film then you can rip the film. The top edge we're wrapping as well, all the time. Same here, I'm leaving approximately 5 to 10 millimeters of film. Now it's one more important part, we need to cut this circle. I'm leaving probably again 10 millimeters and this time I'm not using any pressure. Tweezers, the best tool. Oh. Now let's grab our steamer. will relax the film and will activate the glue.
have too much water there. We just need to push water out. You know, batch will go back and it will cover all that ugly cutting line. But it will look neat. Okay, we're done with trimming and now just look at this edge. If I kind of wrapping, see this film doesn't want to stick very well here. Because we still have a bit soak there. We need to use, I recommend to use steamer, but of course you can use any your tack solution. But steam will work better. And now let's try to push it. And because hot water cleans uh, soap way better and quicker than uh, just cold water and the hot glue sticks faster. Let's open bonnet. Okay, our steamer is empty. We can try to push it around this edge if we, if we want to, but because we already wrapped to the edge and you know behind this edge it's not very important, uh, we can leave this panel till later. Okay, now we'll focus uh, wrapping other panel and just leave it for a few hours, even overnight. And then when it's gonna be dry, it will be super easy just to, to stick it. We left bonnet to dry for a few hours. In the meantime, we done front fenders. And now finally bonnet is dried. Uh, PPF, not bonnet, PPF is dried and we can finish wrapping this panel. As you see, I already pushed with the finger around this edge. I am noticed that I haven't trimmed very neat. Somewhere I have a bit more film than in other places, but I think I will adjust uh, when I will wrap around, I will trim from inside and I will make nice straight line just by hand from inside. Um, so, okay, let's focus on finishing this panel. Because, for example, these kind of corners, when you push it around the edge, there's a few ways to do, it, to do them. Let's show you a few different ways. For example, you can cut like moon like this, Just, just like that. Uh, let's grab our heat gun. Just heat a bit. 
and push with your finger. Beautiful. From outside, you're not gonna see this uh, edge of the film at all. Is a other way to do that? Uh, let's do this corner a bit different way. Um, you, some people can tell you that you cannot overlap paint protection film, but that's wrong. If you're gonna do it the right way, you can overlap it without any problems. But let, I will show you how to do that. Some water dot just there. Okay, we wrapped around this edge. You see we have too much film here. We can do like relief cuts this direction, this direction, and one more in the middle. Now I can push with the finger and wrap around this edge. I can grab my tweezers and just do overlaps. Let's push with the finger. And now you can see you know, two different edges. This one we still need to trim and make a nice straight line. But this is just like sample how we can do two different ways. Uh, this one looks cleaner at the moment, but this edge after we will seal it, it will be more permanent. This. We can just we need to heat very very well and push it. Okay. These are two different techniques how, to can, how you can wrap these corners and the final result is very very similar. Just on this edge we have a bit extra fill and probably I will recommend to do this way, this, this, <laughs> this style of wrapping this edge, uh, this corner was uh, more suitable for the spots where it's not much tension but uh, in, I will do it in this way like in the <laughs> second example if I will have a lot of tension and I want to make sure this film not gonna come back I want to leave extra film wrap around and seal it from inside you know more film will stay longer but both both ways looks nice and clean so within these two corners let's continue working on this bonnet uh, main thing is to do these corners. Everything was straight, we're gonna do later. For example, I did this corner, I applied, after I push this film down for the flat, now I wanna do this corner and then I will push film this way and this way. Because there's no tension, let's do this kind of moon cut. And now I can push you know, where the flat surface. Straight line. I can push straight line. Yeah. See, now let's focus on this this spot. Again, let's cut. like that Let's push with the finger and now is the time to finish this this part now let's continue here And this kind of corner, it's a bit more trickier corner and I just left like one mil and I will use my heat gun, heat it and push with a finger. Same like this corner, 
I left a bit extra material just to push around. I will use a lot of heat just to kind of start to melt this film and then I will push with the finger. See how clean and beautiful it looks? But you need to be very, very careful with controlling your heat. It's gonna, if I will heat too much, it can melt the PPF. You need just enough heat just to be able to kind of seal this edge. Okay, let's do this one. Okay, now let's continue just pushing this excess film around this edge. Um, as you see, I don't know if you can see, I have a bit excess film here. Because I want to wrap around this edge, I'm going to do a relief cut. Now let's push it around. That's it. Now our every single edge is wrapped. Every single corner, every single edge on this bonnet is wrapped. Just after you're pushing around these edges, you must heat it. You must. You can't skip that. So this side is done and we're going to do the same on the other side. Okay guys, our panel is wrapped, all edges are finished, corners are finished and now we want to make nice and straight clean cut inside and under the bonnet, you see I have kind of too much film here and we have this recess. I don't know if you can see but my goal is to trim straight in this recess. In this case, I will hide the edge of the film just right there. And almost no one never will see the paint protection film, edge of paint protection film. And even when, if you're gonna you know, open the bonnet, touch the edge, you're not gonna be able to pick with the fingers because our edge of the film will be hidden in this recess. So let's do it. And other like important part is why I'm doing like that because this film is bridged over this recess and it will during the time in a few years it will collect the dirt because I can't seal this end of the film and it's like during the time you know edge uh, dirt will go inside and you will have very dirty uh, gap like kind of under the film will be a lot of dirt. That's why after trimming like that we're not gonna have this air pocket and it will be clean for many many years so guys as you see bonnet is frapped in this video i wanted to share my tips knowledge and some techniques of wrapping this bonnet using paint protection film this time we used specific gslf platinum paint protection film and it was my second time using this product 
Uh, I have used JZWF brand for almost one year, but I never used this platinum version of pain protection fill. Uh, and probably as you saw, I was struggling installing this hood because I used wrong slip solution, wrong mix of slip solution. I didn't have enough soap in my, in, in my slip solution, but end result is really good. Um, and I think it was a good test for myself how this product will, will perform in some, if something goes wrong. And I was able to finish this hood without any stretch marks or stretch lines, without glue lines. And I'm really happy with that. It's not with every single brand you can achieve this finish when you have some issues during installation. So don't get upset if something goes wrong. All the time you can fix it. Worst case scenario is you can replace this piece of fill. I hope this video was helpful. If you like our content, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, leave some comments below and like our videos. It's me, Rafirus, and I will see you next time.